Two hills followed by Calgary Hopwood. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It looks like the Justice Minister's ideological approach to crime will start impacting small businesses and innocent victims across Alberta. Youth offenders can now get off scot-free for pulling off multiple crimes under this government's hug-a-thug approach. Yeah. Now, I don't know if the Justice Minister picked up on these soft-on-crime ideas during his time as a Liberal sa uh, staffer in Saskatchewan, but telling youth that there are no consequences to their actions isn't just justice for the victims or the youth. How can the Justice Minister then possibly justify his hug-a-thug approach to crime that leaves businesses and communities ripe for the picking? Surely, Mr. Speaker, in the, couple, in the many years that this member practiced law, he understands that there are many, many options available to prosecutors when they're, when they're confronted with a crime. We have youth justice committees that go throughout the entire province. Mr. Speaker, and again, we're adding another uh, aspect, another pro uh, issue that, that the prosecutor can go and deal with, only on very low-end offences, and, Mr. Speaker, this is a matter that deals with a conservative approach to justice. This member compl compl complains about people not being conservative. I suggest he look in the mirror. Thank you. Honourable Member. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that the Minister seems to not fully understand the cost to businesses of having their retail shoplifted or their property vandalized or how an increase in vandalism attracts more crime to our communities, why on earth is this government trying to bring in the failed liberal soft on crime policies here to Alberta? Hey, hey, hey. Speaker, prosecutors, under, under our new plan, prosecutors will continue to have the ac full access to the courts, including the ac access to actually go and lay a charge under the old system, also under the new system, Mr. Mr. Speaker, this member should know that again with the many years he spent practicing law. Honourable Member. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that the government's new plan is to scrap electronic monitoring of high-risk offenders serving their sentences in the community, including those awaiting for, tr waiting for trial, and get this, for sexual assaults, does this progressive justice minister know that these are bad guys, that they are likely to reoffend if they are not appropriately monitored, and that this reckless decision is putting public safety and security at risk? Honourable Minister of Justice, you have a point of order at 218. It's been noted. Now proceed with the answer to the question. Mr. Gant, Mr. Speaker, again, as we move forward to our justice system, the most important thing this member needs to know is we did not cut one cop. We did not cut one Crown prosecutor. In fact, we're adding two more judges, Mr. Speaker. You would think that someone who claims to be a Conservative would get behind this policy. The Honourable Member, Calgary Hawkwood, followed by Epson Centre.